So this is the expensive room. Oh, mate, this is why you have to ask Jamie. All right, guys, so I would actually probably call this the best pick that I've had since being in Queensland. Do you know, in our phone conversation, we didn't even mention Kiss. It was Star Wars and Pokemon, and now look what we're doing. Duff later, shit. Oh, oh could, have you got a light? Oops. No. When I was entering the estate, I didn't have much confidence because it was all new, but as soon as I rocked up to the house, I was uh, actually glad that I brought the trailer. Um, these are the types of houses I love picking them up. I've most. seen them every time they've been in Australia, except 1980. Dad wouldn't take me because I was five. We're it's getting Star Wars thing. posters and... Oh, we're saying that print there, and... that's actually one of the original concept art. Yeah, I actually, that, I dig that. I dig that a lot, that's pretty cool, man. It doesn't matter, I'm just resorting things out. Yeah, it's the original one. That's awesome. Original cinema poster. That's so good. What about the little mirror? Is, it, is an original vintage one? Yeah. That's actually one I've had since the 80s. Yeah. I think I bought, I think I originally got that at the grand final. Yeah. That is sick. Um, have you got any old NRL jerseys or hats or, any, or... not oldish ones these are about the, the only ones i've got at the moment are these ones here um, the pokemon shirt that was the four x gold one yeah i'll do that so there's four so 20 bucks yep. right. have you got any others uh about most that's most of the yugi i've got at the moment all right what would you want for the two folders you can give me a loan. Yeah. I know, mate. You got you got heaps of cash. I saw your wallet. I was almost going to not tell you. <laughs> There's another folder there. And that's where most of it. Right one. Yeah. Yeah, there's that on it. Right. Might as well. And the other two I got. Yep, I'll grab those as well. I've got um. I, I, lucky I did bring the trailer. He's so excited. The problem is when I bring him, he um he wants the same stuff I want. <laughs> yeah, cool. Jordan's yeah. Man. What do you tell him, Jamie? Thank you. No, you tell him. Oh, like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell. Done. <laughs> what about this one here? It's about eighty, I think they were eighty or ninety no. at the time. Um, see what they're worth, mate. Oh, man, yeah. yeah. No. Nah. Oh. 84. Oh, 86, I think it is. I might be able to sell that because I've got the golf um, yeah. shop. Two bucks. Done. Cats are cute. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Oh, you didn't let me pick up the. Thing. Sorry, mate. <laughs> uh, probably not that one. What about all these figures in here? I'd do five each. Would you do 50 for the box? Everything that's in it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. A couple of signatures in there. Yep. And what did you want for that? Two bucks. Okay. Jamie, that's got some autographs in it. Okay. Oh, I can do all that. Yep. Yep. Yep, grab that, and that one, and that one. You got uh, quite a good collection. Have you got the Blue Power Ranger one as well? Have you got the missing pieces for that? No. No. I've got a complete one out there in box though. Okay. 77, including the mask. Do you have any other action figures in your wardrobe? You do. Yeah, your Power Rangers and all sorts. But okay, let's just say, without worrying about everything else for now, like what would you want for all of your figures that you've got on the wall in this room and on display around your TV? And then we can work out um, other bits. It's mostly just a junk heap in there at the moment. So like your Metallica shirt. That's an old vintage. Yeah. It was actually in a limited edition one you can only buy off their website through their fan club. Oh, that's funny. The Complete Castle. Yep. Yeah, you right. see them all the way. Okay. The room that keeps on giving. 
the house that keeps on giving. I love it, mate. I love it. Uh, ask Jamie, he might be interested in that one. What about, how much for this one here that hasn't been framed? Why did he do it up there? Because he's an idiot. <laughs> Tommy didn't want to sign over his face. That's so, so funny. So he signed up the top and Gene, Gene and everyone else signed on their actual face. Um, how much do you want for your figures? Have you got the other two of those? No, only those two. Yeah, I've had the four of them. What about your, um, your, your mask? All right, I'll grab that as well. Yeah, that lot there, I'd probably do 10 bucks on. Yeah, all right. Would you do 20 if I did that and the hat together? Yeah. Yeah, cool. sweet. It is cool, though. Yeah, it all works and everything. It's, it's, it's just, I actually had it at the last, one of our last trade meets we did. Yeah. So took it out and bought it out. Awesome. All right, so what would you want? We got 11, one. 12, 13. What would you want for all of them? So I'll take them. these posters though the yeah. problem is trying to display them for sale because especially with um how much space we've got left at the shop but it's a double-edged sword because he's got autographed and original posters so it's a matter of going through them you should not put that on the camera i didn't see what it was how many did you count kiss taped up here too mate um add those to the pile What have you got there? There's 35. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Eric handed me those drumsticks himself personally. Wow. So it's actually signed by Vinnie Vincent. Did you have any other Kiss memorabilia outside of this room? Uh not real. No. That one was an Australian exclusive, those shirts. They yep. were actually only sold at um, Big W here yep. in Australia. Tommy comes past and goes, that's a cool shirt. Where'd you get that? I said, oh, it's the uh, new one here in Australia. And he just looked at Gene and goes, oh, did we do the rest of the band? He goes, no, just me. Same thing was signed at the meet and greet. Yep. They were actually the Japanese tour posters. A friend of mine was actually in Japan. And then when I did the meet and greet, I got the band to sign it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Great deal, Luke. Actually, I sold most of them. Uh, what do you want for your cards? Done. Star Wars, mate. I, um, micro machines. Is that what Yeah, I want those micro machine ones. Oh, yeah. What is that? What about all your concert tickets? Are you keeping those or selling those? Mm. 15 with the tin? Yeah, I'll do. Alright. 10 first edition Star Wars Actual... Charizard. And what was the other one, the girl? Dark Magician Girl, Secret Rare First Edition print. Did you buy them graded or did you get them no, graded? No, I bought them. I got them out of the packet. How did you advertise them for sale? Um, straight on the Pokemon page. The Charizard up and I had about 30 people offer me uh, the money within about 30 seconds of it. And how much did you sell it for? 10 grand. <laughs> and the um, Charizard? 16. So there was so much to pick from. Every room had something in there that I bought uh, from signed memorabilia, like this Star Wars stuff, um, to all sorts of action yeah. figures. It was a really Bane. good day. Yeah. And then obviously the classic Batmobile. So these were in front of a light these box. These are actually in the um, cinema in the uh, candy bar with the lights behind them. Yep. Mm. So this um, Japanese card, Boba Fett. Fett, autographed. So the everyday flipper and I spent two hours in this room. Check out our Instas to uh, see more. What's on the bomber jacket, mate? So got anything on the back? Limited edition Holden team jacket. Yep, that's Racing cool. Team jacket. Sweet. Check this out, this one here. Right, single stitched. Oh, that's cool. And then tell, tell us the story for these as I go through them. So this will be the tour shirt, so it's from the current tour that probably only one you showed up for. Yep, and this one here. They're the Kiss Army ones, they're actually oh, the yeah. um, official membership thing. Uh, meet and greet t-shirts, when you actually did the meet and greet with them, the actual Kiss meet and greet from the last tour. 
Um, this one. American <laughs> US um, tour shirt. I need to put on a bit more. Well, I'm doing good so and That was right. actually the concept art that was um, really done That's for awesome. the uh, monster trucks that they had in the States. And great. Paul Stanley actually did the art for that. Appreciate it. Um, so, so, what have you taught me, Danny? To delete stuff off your phone so you've got room to take video. Alrighty, well. We'll bring back up. <laughs> Unfortunately, guys, you're missing out on so much. New to the channel, subscribe. Give us some pointers, tell us what you want to see because this is the stuff we get to see every single week. And if you want to be part of it, we're trying to do the best we can so that we can entertain you guys and you can be part of the community, uh, enjoy what we have to offer, um, and we'll show you whatever you like to see. So you tell us what you want and we'll bring it to you. We're keen to dig, um, we're keen to find things. Tell us what you collect and we'll look for it for you. And uh, we'll try and put some great content uh, for you through um, YouTube so that you can keep up to date with where we're at and uh, and see some quality content. And this gentleman's been kind enough to put his face to the camera so we can ask him whatever whatever questions you'd like to hear. So leave a like, subscribe, bell notification, turn it on and uh, we'll see you in the next video.